God. Hello, 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 Cancer. It's well. Welcome back to the extended. Okay. And so I'm going to be, um, go over some of these things here with you. Okay. Um, again, this is an energy of this person. I, I feel like they had one opportunity. This person didn't. They were shady. They were sneaky. This person took from you. Um, and you are moving in a different direction. You're protecting yourself. You're getting away from this person. You're protecting your assets and your energy here. Okay, so what we want to look at in the extended For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome everybody. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel this year. And um, thank you everybody for tuning in. All right. So um, let's see, where was I? I do have two other channels. Queen Cancer Tarot is my primary channel, but I have two other channels. She reads Tarot, where I read for all 12 signs. And then I have Cons uh Tarot Talk Live, all right, where I talk about celebrity news, celebrity tarot, and also conspiracy theories, okay, of various topics, okay? So please go and check that out. Both links are below. I do two giveaways, one uh, weekly giveaway, which is for a three-question reading, um, hashtag win or hashtag free reading if you want to be included in the drawing. Um, I announce the winners on Fridays once a week, and then I have a monthly giveaway. Everything that I give away on the monthly is below. All right. All you have to do is be subscribed in order to be entered in your chance. That's all you need to do to be entered in your chance to win on the monthly giveaway, guys, is be subscribed. All right. Okay. Um, speaking of the monthly giveaways, I am going to be announcing the winners later, so please tune in. Please tune in. Now... Where is my firepower? I'm always misplacing it. And I have like a crook in my neck to get today, guys. So it's like I have to turn my entire body around just to turn my head. So it's pretty, pretty gruesome today for me. I don't know. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you all are doing well. Please head over to my um, webpage if you guys would like to book a reading, a personal reading with me. Please head over to the, the website. All right. All right. So let's get started, Cancers. I'm glad that you can hear me. And I'm glad that I also have my microphone. Um, going you guys so the sound quality is much better also i hope it's doing its job tuning out all the outside noise so i'm very happy about that too um so yeah let's get it going all right so what we're going to look at cancer is we want to see what are the challenges or the obstacles that you are going to be facing with this person? Okay. Um, what the advice is, Cancer, from Spirit? What does Spirit want you to know? And then we will look at future predictive oracle messages at the end with the final outcome. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Let's look at the challenges first, okay? I'm just going to pull a few oracle messages here for you. What are some of the challenges that you may face? 
when you are walking away or leaving this person or just challenges that you may face in the future. Whether it's with a person or after you leave this person, tell me about cancer, please. What are the challenges and the obstacles cancer is going to face? So we have winter time. Winter time. Winter time. So we have winter time. We have stability in the reverse. You will feel safe. Things will feel secure, long-term relationships, stable investments. So you're going to have a hard time getting close to other people. With winter time here, there's an energy of you being very cold or just emotionally just not trusting others. Time. It will happen within a week. So something is going to happen in a week's time. Cancer, you may meet someone within a week or something is going to happen and it's going to trigger you. I feel like um, it's just going to remind you or put you in a place where it's going to cause you to have some sort of reaction or some sort of negative feeling about what you just went through with this person. Okay, so something is going to come up and it's going to remind you that you're not healed yet. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's going to happen within a week. We've got obstacles here underneath the deck. Blockages, delays, unexpected news, ill health, cancellations, and bad news here. All right, so again, again, this says social media here, open online business, more activity, online dating, finding old friends and fake accounts. So you're going to be potentially hooking up with someone or having a conversation with someone, uh, cancer, but I'm seeing an energy of there's going to be some sort of a trigger moment and it's not going to be Good. I don't feel like it's good news for you to jump into it with anyone right now. Okay. I'm just saying I'm getting still getting Queen of Swords energy with you with winter time. That makes sense. I just think that it's just not a good time. Okay. I feel like you'll need to heal emotionally. All right. You just um you just broke it off with someone who you trusted, okay, who is taking away, taking from you. Do you see what I mean? So there's an energy of you feeling very vulnerable. And we also saw the hermit, so I feel like you still need time to think about, you know, ways to avoid having this happen in the future. Answer. So with stability in the reverse, you're still on shaky ground. Tell me about winter time here. I see you being kind of closed off. Okay, look, we have the queen of pentacles here. Okay, and I see naturally you're a very caring, very compassionate person. All right, but with the king of cups here underneath the deck, okay. Cancer score in control of your emotions, okay, to a point of being distant or kind of cold towards others. So you're not really, you're in the energy of you want to have a connection with others, or there's someone that you, you know, may have feelings for, Cancer, but emotionally you're just kind of closed off. Okay, period. Period, emotionally. Tell me about stability in the reverse. Oh, okay. So we have King of Pentacles and the world. So listen, there's an energy of, you know, there was a major, major change that you had to deal with. When you're talking about the world, okay, this is um, Major Arcana number 21. All right, so there's an energy of 
you know, something affected you, okay? Something affected you financially in your previous connection, or there's energy of the person that you were in some sort of a commitment with, did something, they affected your finances, and then they left, or there's an energy of there was an ending after this, and it left you insecure, it left you financially insecure, you feeling insecure about your money. Do you see what I'm saying? Under the deck, the Ten of Swords, and you ended up walking away from this. You walked away from this person because you couldn't trust them or because they betrayed you. There was some something that happened that put you in this victim energy, and you're feeling just like it's very hard for you to trust behind this. You're very insecure about this. Um, tell me about time. It will happen within a week. What is going to happen within a week? Okay. So we have the Empress here. Okay. Yeah. You're going to be meeting someone cancer who's extremely attracted to you, or you may find yourself being attracted to someone. Um, but then it's like, once you kind of get close to this person, something is going to happen and it is going to turn you off. So you have the fool under the deck. So there's an energy of you being very vulnerable, the empress and the fool. It's like you really want to have a connection with someone. This is your divine feminine energy coming through. This is you wanting to have that connection with someone, but with the fool, you know that you're not ready for anything long-term right now. You're still very vulnerable. You're still, like I said, you're still triggered. You're still in the energy of healing from whatever took place previously, trying to get over it. And that is going to be the obstacle, um, is that you're going to feel like these people that you're talking to, regardless of how of a friend it is, you're going to feel like you can't trust them. You know what I'm saying? It's going to feel um, fake to you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's going to feel fake to you from dating again, or at least right now. Tell me about obstacles and social media. Again, I feel like there's dating with you getting back out in the field because you're not, you're not ready. You thought you were, but you're really not. Tell me about obstacles and social media. See, five of wands. <laughs> okay. Just like I said, there's still an energy of you feeling conflicted about what you went through in the previous connection. There's still a lot of stress or tension because of what you went through. And it's, you know, you feel like you could potentially be in this situation again. Like I said, what did I tell you? The hermit, Virgo energy. What did I tell you? Number nine, injustice. See what I'm saying? There's all about this car. Karmic, you're still contemplating over what this karmic did to you or what happened, okay, in the past. You're still trying to get up the past. You're still upset about it as well. It's still a problem. It still stresses you out. It still causes you some level of pain here, Cancer. And this is um, this is what's making it very difficult for you. Okay, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles here with the King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. And look, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, y'all. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is an energy of someone who is like, listen, I can't force it. It's not time. It's obvious that it's not time. There's an energy of you know that is, you need to wait a little bit longer. There's an energy of not forcing or rushing, getting into a connection right now. See, uh, under the deck, seven of swords, you still do not, there's a level of you still don't trust people. See, five of swords, same two cards, seven of swords, five of swords. It's like, whether it's all in your head or not, <clears throat> there's an energy of you need to heal from this first because you're going to bring that 
negative thinking into this relationship with this new person. Okay. Okay. Tell me about the ten or the king of pentacles with the world and the ten of swords. Again, this is all about you closing the door. Um, you still don't feel safe. You don't feel protected. There's an energy of needing to walk away. See, you have the ace of or the king of pentacles here. Or is this the page? I can't even see right now. My eyes. Page of Pentacles here. And under the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Either way, it's a whole lot of Pentacles, y'all. The Page and the Knight of Pentacles. So someone is coming in with um, some sort of a message here. Okay, that you can count on them or you can rely on them. You know what I'm saying? But with the Page of Pentacles, there's an energy of it's just kind of going in one year and out the other. I don't feel like you really trust this situation fully. See, you got the Five of Swords under the deck popping back up. Again, mind games. You feeling intimidated or like you can't really trust this right now. Empress and the Fool. You really want it, okay? Um but you're going to realize that it's just too soon. You're not really ready for commitment. Tell me about the Empress and the Fool. Empress and the Fool. And the Five of Cups here. So there's an energy of you don't want to make a mistake or you don't want to make a decision that's going to come back to bite you in the ass, Cancer. Under the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. See, this is a new opportunity. There's an energy of, you know, it looks good, but you don't necessarily trust it, Cancer. You you don't necessarily trust that this new opportunity is going to be something that is not going to be something that's going to hurt you later. See, five of pentacles. I told you there's an energy of you not going after this opportunity out of fear. Okay, out of fear out of fear. Tell me about the five of wands here with the hermit and the justice card. Five of wands with the hermit and the justice card. You are looking at the situation. Look, with the three of swords in the reverse, there's an the energy of you're still or you're just now recovering over this previous loss, Cancer. You're just starting to move on from this. So there's an the energy of not wanting to get in over your head too soon. Look, you have the eight of pentacles under the deck You and look, the chariot. So the most important for you, thing for you right now, Cancer, is working on yourself, getting yourself back to where you need to be, whatever self-work you need to do, um, whatever it is you need to do, Cancer, that is what is important to you with the chariot and the temperance card here. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. The chariot and temperance here with the magician. So you are doing everything in your power, okay, to make sure that you, Cancer, are healed before you move on to a new commitment. And like I said, this is someone that you are very, very attracted to. We got the empress here. All right. So you are extremely attracted to this person, but there's an energy of you still are side eyeing this person because you don't trust them because you're not completely over the situation that you went through. Okay. You're still with Herman and the Justice card. You're still looking back at the situation and doing some self reflection. And once you feel confident enough that you're going to be safe enough, that you're going to make the right decisions and, you know, judge people the way that you should judge them. I feel like that's when you're going to be able to move forward in a good relationship. So let's just see what is the advice, okay, for you. And I'm going to pull from another Oracle deck here. What is the advice for Cancers moving on? What is the advice for Cancers moving on? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What is the advice for cancers moving on? 
Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. So I have three oracle cards here. And we have duality. Okay, number 11. You guys, twin flame energy, karmic energy. This is exactly where we are right now. And with duality, I feel like there's an energy of you really, really dealing with yourself right now. Self-reflection, okay? Looking in the mirror and coming to terms with the decision that you made, accepting the decision that you made, um, you know, forgiving yourself for any mistakes you may have made, and also taking things as a learning experience and growing from them, Cancer. Look, you have protection here, number one. Look, you have all these ones. You had number 11 and now you have number one, protection. All right, so again, I feel like the, the divine is wanting you to know that you are protected. Regardless of whatever mistakes that you may have made in the past, Cancer, the divine wants you to know that you are protected in this time. Okay. So I feel like your protection is all encompassing. Um, number three. Oh my God. You, ooh. We have number 111, your 111 year old Roman numeral three. I am not making this shit. I paid three different Oracle decks. Uh, watch me do it. I just randomly pulled them out. Spirit is letting you know, you guys, it's all about self, self, self reflection, knowing that you are protected, and also looking at your 111 year old self and saying, What would my 111 year old self say right now? Knowing everything that they know at 111, what would they say to me? right now. So there's an energy of you making good decisions. Okay. There's an energy of you doing what's right. Okay. And there's also an energy of you taking good advice. Okay. Um, and really in intuitive, you know, you is all up, you know what I'm saying? And, and being wise and saying, what would my wise, wiser self do in this time? Making the right decisions, okay? Um, that's gorgeous, y'all. And the fact that we got all ones, y'all. The fact that we have one one here, okay? We have two ones here. And we have three ones right here, y'all. That is crazy, yeah. Uh, crazy crazy. So let's look at the tarot really quick here. Um, tell me about duality here for cancer. Tell me about duality here for cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And this is the advice here. And we have the eight of swords, cancer. So there's an energy of you blocking yourself or you feeling like you're stuck or like you were stuck in a situation um, and you didn't get out of that situation. You know what I'm saying? There's an energy of that or feeling like, you know, you were in a situation that you couldn't get out of. Right. But with the wheel of fortune under the deck, cancer, everything came to full circle. Okay. The wheel has turned. You are now making good decisions, okay? So I feel like with that, good karma is coming towards you. I feel like you're no longer being blocked. Your blessings are no longer being blocked here, Cancer. Or there's an energy of you may have felt like you blocked your blessings, okay, when you were with this karmic. So now with protection and number one, I'm feeling like spirit is saying, when you separate from this karmic energy, I will protect you. I will protect you, Cancer. So let's see. Tell me about protection, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guys. God, Spirit is saying, don't worry about walking away 
from something that is not good for you, okay? Look, we have the six of wands in the reverse. This talks about you having, you know, too much pride, basically, <laughs> okay? This talks about someone who is avoiding um, making a decision, somebody who feels like they're neglected, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know, so that's interesting. This is also an energy of somebody who's like, um, it's like, it's like feeling like you're going to have a lack of support, to be honest. And spirit is saying, I will protect you. Do not worry about walking away from this person. Do not worry about what others are going to say. Okay. I am going to support you in this time. Under the deck, you have the moon. So again, don't worry about the things that you can't see or don't worry about, you know, don't worry about what you don't know is going to happen tomorrow. Don't worry about that. Don't be anxious, okay, about the future. There's an energy of you just doing whatever it is you got to do to protect yourself, take care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? And you will be, you know, you're going to be taken care of at the end of the day. Six of swords here. So there's an energy of you needing to get to a point of safety or you needing to um, take care of yourself, Cancer. All of this is all about you taking care of self. I feel like once the divine sees you doing this, or once you take this step, the divine is going to pick up and take it from there. Like you're not even going to have to worry. Um, and I feel like your 111 year old self is going to tell you this. You're going to be like, why did I take so long? Tell me about this. Tell me about your 111 year old self. Ooh, cancer, the judgment card. Whoa. Yo, do you see that? Number 20. This talks about an awakening self-evaluation. This also talks about you reflecting on something. And what did I say your 111 year old self was going to do? It's going to reflect on everything that you did or didn't do, or all the time that you may have wasted making a decision or coming to a final decision to do something. That's this person here. Under the deck, seven of wands. See, once you take the steps to protect yourself, cancer, or stand up for yourself, that's when spirit is going to... That's when spirit is going to kick in. That's when everything else is going to come together. And I feel like you are going to be fully healed. Like there's going to be a spiritual healing that's going to take place within yourself. Okay. Um, I'm just, this is what I see coming towards you. Okay. This is what I see. And did we look underneath the deck here for this? We did. Yep, we sure did. So, um, oh yeah, we were looking at Oracle messages. That's what we're doing. So future predictive Oracle looking at the final outcome. Let's see what we pull here for you, Cancer. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what does Cancer need to know? Give us future predictive oracle for Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what does Cancer need to know? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about Cancer, please. What does Cancer need to know today? Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell us about cancer, please. Okay, so let's see what we got. So we have moon 
emotions okay once again we have moon and emotions number 23 okay february 3rd may stand out for you the number 23 may be of importance to you here all right so i feel like there's going to be a, a lot of uh emotions that you don't that you're you're not going to know that these are coming there's an energy of there's going to be emotions that you weren't aware of that you felt that you're going to be feeling cancer. There's still some emotions that you need to deal with. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right here. Look at that. You already know your answer deep in your heart. Do what feels right with moon and emotions. This is all about you having to really do something based on your heart cancer. You're going to have to make a decision based on what you know to be the best thing. You know if your heart is at a point where it's not yet ready. You want to start to have feelings or you want to um, you want to act on the feelings that you have right now, but cancer, you know, deep down that it's just not time. You're being triggered still. There's still some things that are coming up that have nothing at all to do with this new person that's coming in. Let's see. We have let yourself feel all your emotions. Oh, my God, look at that. Let yourself feel all of your emotions. And this is clear quartz, y'all. Here is um, here's some clear quartz right here. Okay, but this says it all. Let yourself feel all of your emotions here. It says your it says your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. I'm telling you right now, look at spirit, y'all. Can Y'all can't run away from God and truth. You can't, you guys. There's no way you can make, honestly, there's no way you can make this stuff up. You can say a lot of things are coincidence all you want to. I rebuke coincidence in the name of Jesus. Everything happens on purpose for a reason. It was designed and set up before I even came here. So look at this. It's not a game. It's not a game. Here we are talking about emotions and we got moon with emotions. We got deep in your heart. You already know the answer. Do what feels right. Like literally cancer, come on, come on. And then we have express your love. Look at this. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love, Cancer. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So there's going to be some energy, Cancer, of once you do clear things away, I feel like very quickly, I don't feel like it's going to take long, but you do have some unresolved emotions or unresolved feelings that you need to deal with. But once you do, Spirit is saying it's free and clear to express your emotions or let this person know how you are feeling. Okay. And then look, we have number 26. Great. Okay. Number 26. Great fortune here. Look at this. Okay. So this is again, that wheel of fortune that's coming through. I feel like there is some sort of yourself once you also free yourself. Look, pathway number 35, two plus six is eight, by the way. And we have no Number 35, three plus five is also eight. Number eight is also coming through very strongly for me in this reading for you all. Number eight, we have number 10, number 11, number 20 is standing out. All right, you guys. So um, with pathway here and great fortune, I feel again like cancer, you are on your path to happiness. This is 10 of pentacles for me. This is you on the road to happiness, blessings, 
everything you've always wanted. This is a very, very solid, solid, beautiful future. And uh, definitely connection if this is related to love, which I feel very strongly it is. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the message. I hope it resonates for you. Please go and check out part one. The link is below. If you are interested in any further information, please reach out to me directly. All right. I love you guys so much. I take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I will see you again soon please go out and check please go and please go and check the playlist you guys for the the, uh, weekly reading for cancer I did weekly um, reading Monday through Friday so go and check that out it was very interesting the reading was I thought it was a very good reading and so go check it out I'll be doing that weekly going forward okay all right I'll see you guys later I'll be announcing the winners coming up soon all right y'all bye